Finally tonight, by whatever measure, as Ten's Angela Bishop was able to show us not too long ago, actor John Blake had a truly difficult life. John was on the verge of international stardom when a car crash left him in a cruel world that most of us will thankfully never know. John passed away this morning, but at least we know his final months were filled with family and love. It was only a couple of months ago that John Blake's life had finally turned around. After 25 years confined to a darkened room, the actor had moved on to a new life with his only son, Dustin. Very bright, very happy, so yeah, a lot better. There's actually a purpose in life now. But fate had other ideas, and the star passed away peacefully from pneumonia this morning. Paul Jonathan Blake was born on the 10th of December 1958 in Sydney. He was only 19 when he scored the role of Alan Archer on The Restless Years, his heartthrob status ensuring a quick transition to movie roles. And these two guys get involved through a, a comedy of errors uh, in corporate crime and political and bureaucratic corruption and intrigue and ends up in a big climactic shootout here. By 1986, he was being hailed as the next Mel Gibson, as he starred as trooper Sloane Bolton in The Light Horseman. I don't know if you can understand me, but I'd very much appreciate it if you'd give me the chance to blow your bloody head apart. But the night after filming that final scene, John was driving home from Port Augusta in South Australia. He swerved to avoid a car parked on the wrong side of the road with its lights off and collided with a truck and was left with a catastrophic brain injury. For many years, his mother mascot cared for him, enlisting the help of fans to help with physiotherapy. But when she died four years ago, John's only surviving relative, his son Dustin, had to fight for the right to care for his father. As we revealed last month, a deregistered doctor mascot had met at a Sydney Leagues club had been left John's house in her will, and he was trying to keep Dustin away from his dad. That was finally resolved earlier this year and John and Dustin had begun a new life together and they celebrated in a special way. First place <laughs> we're going to go is to watch this movie, finally. Him, yeah. Because he had the accident at the end of 86 and the movie came out I think it was 87 so he was in hospital. He never actually got to see his movie. Did you enjoy that? Did you have a good day? Are you happy? Yeah. <laughs> That's a smile. Yeah. That's a smile. John Blake was 52. I think that's uh, called courage from father and son.